Hello, everybody. I screwed up, Christian. Jump over here. Jump over here. Accidentally, I hit go live, and apparently my camera was still on, so it automatically shut it down. I deleted the other, or I'm in the process of deleting the other one. So I am live now. So come find me. Come find me. I did an oopsie. And today I've been feeling like, uh, has anybody ever seen the, what's the name of that movie? White, white girls with the Wayan brothers. I've been feeling like that today. I've been feeling like the, you know how you got your hair on your face and you're like, <laughs> That's uh, so what I'm feeling today. Got a lot of that going on. Um, I, I've been really busy, guys. I've I've got a lot of a um, lot of clients scheduled because of uh, the special I got running for half off. I've got one spot left, one o'clock tomorrow, uh, for the chart and tarot reading. Yeah, I, I did a boo boo. I did a boo-boo. Hello, Heather. Hello. What's up? Elon? <laughs> Elon. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, it's that kind of day where I feel like going because my hair is all in my face and yeah. So I am scheduled solid for the next two days with appointments because I extended it out another day. I'm doing good. I just, you know, I've got this half off uh, reading going on right now. Uh, and people are jumping on it because I'm fully booked for the next two days. I got one spot left at one o'clock. That's it. Um, yeah. Closer to, it says, my connection is unstable. Not surprising. It is almost 90 degrees. The heat's probably bothering it. But we are approaching the Capricorn full moon. And ooh, shit's going to go down this month for the rest of the month. But what you guys got to do is kind of like don't react. Handle it. I know that's easier said than done, especially if you got any Aries in your chart at all. Hey, Christian, sorry about that, man, but I, I did a. <laughs> I hit the wrong button, and I closed it out. Anyways, <laughs> kinda. <laughs> It's a blonde moment. You know what I'm saying? So what what's going on in the sky? I've got this cap, cappy full moon, which is like Saturn. So, kick it. Hi, baby. So it's like all these people that are walking around thinking that they're fooling everybody is about to get slapped with a dose of reality. <laughs> And all y'all who are in my channel, your truth, and you don't give a crap who, who cares and who don't. But there are going to be people, lots and lots of people, that are going to lash out at you because you're there. Is, hmm. <laughs> you got some shadow work to do there, don't you? Mm-hmm. Because... With all of this, the toxicity, there's going to be a complete shift here again, like there was on Sagittarius full moon. But this one is going to be like people being slapped with their shadow. Oh, thank you, Janice. Hi, England. I'm coming to London sometime. I don't know when. I got to wait for all this 
banter to stop because you ain't sticking me with that shit. Simple as that. Hey, Brandon, how you doing? Welcome. There's another guy in here, Christian. Woohoo! Another stick. <laughs> you saw that too, Kit. Boris resigned. Ah, uh, guess who's next? Guess who's next? I M P E A C H M E N T. Guess who's next? But see, this is also an illusion, guys. Now the real baddies come in. Okay? These are just puppets. These are just minions, including Gilly Bates. They're all just minions. They're not the ones running the show. The ones that are running the show are making, they're basically martyring them. And yeah, basically that's what they are. They're puppets, people, because now the real ones come in. And whoever they are, it doesn't matter who they are. I think the no king king is gonna it might might take Boris's place, but I'm not sure. I can't, I, you know. I'm just, I get the downloads, but the one that claims the throne illegitimately your bits are lagging story of my life <laughs> there you go that's the word I was looking for anyway so I think that person is going to end up coming into play here in the immediate future there's going to be a lot of things a lot of things changing even by the end of this month so as you uh trick the treacherous uh what do i want to say wilderness of reality you are going to run into a bunch of douchebags okay People who are going to blame you for what's wrong with them. It's called blame game. Hey, Manuel, how you doing? I'm glad to hear that. That's what I'm here for, baby. I'm helping you guys get over the bullshit that other people are feeding you because you're better than that. Hey, Laurel. Hey, how you doing? My Aries husband broke my heart. Oh, uh, yeah, Aries. Not even going to talk about that right now. <laughs> Jupiter is in Aries, okay? So Aries is getting a boost of energy, thinking that they are all that and a bag of chips. Um, their balloon will be deflated by October. Just so you know, whatever they're putting out right now, they're going to get back three times three by October. So Janice, you're going to sit back and watch the show. Whoever this person is, whoever that there, that, that person that broke your heart happened. Okay. My connection, it says I'm unstable here. I hope you guys can hear me. This transit that's happening at the end of July has not happened since before Christ. 2,300 years ago. Probably about 2,350 considering that's when Alexandria was burned down and, and Mesopotamia was destroyed and then along comes Jesus and tries to fix everybody right heals the blind you know we all have those abilities already 
My nose is itching. Uh, I'm going to light some sage. I feel like I got, I feel like I got somebody around me. Be gone, demon. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. And you ain't got no power here. Because I'm a badass bitch. And I will fuck up your day. <laughs> a little bit for you guys. A little bit for me, guys. All right. Suck on that, bitch. Is it wrong to tell someone what they're going to do before they do it? I'm going to tell you what, Terry. I scared the crap out of my twin flame because I did <laughs> So it's really up to you. We got Jordan. We got Earl. I hope you're feeling better, baby. Poke him in the eye with your magic wand. Exactly. Um, what was I saying? You guys lost me here. Anyways, so, oh yeah, Terry. Yeah, there's men in the house tonight, Heather. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, it's better to no, go no, no contact with the narcissist because that's going to piss them off even more. And then they're going to have to face that shadow. Um, and as far as telling somebody what's going to happen before it happens, I don't, I don't recommend it unless you want them to go away quickly. Because I did that with my twin flame and like gone because it spooked him. He didn't, he didn't understand how I knew what I knew. He was like, but I, how, how did you know? I'm psychic. There's no other way to explain that. And and it blew his mind. He did contact me once since I've been here, but that was the last time I heard from him. And that's okay. Like I said, he went off and had a family and got married and all that. I'm done with that, so I ain't even interested. You go raise your kids and do your thing. My kids are in their 30s and I ain't got time. Even when they have ill intentions, just ignore them. Especially if they're a narc. Because when you when you avoid a narcissist, they have to they have to own up to their shit. They, they, they're they so busy blaming everybody else for what's wrong with their life that they don't own up to their shit. But when everybody deserts them, walks away from them, stops enabling them, they only got them, themselves, and Irene in the mirror. So they may lose it. Let them lose it. Because it's going to take that crash to get back up. And to get back up a different person. Not a selfish person. Not a narcissist that only cares about how they feel and how nobody else feels. <laughs> Casper. Are you that white Christian? <laughs> Laurel. How do the lives work? We just we just talk and bullshit. And if somebody's got a question, they just throw it out there and I answer it. Uh, Terry, you know, I mean, do this. Don't even look at them. Don't even look at them. Like I said, that's what they want. They want attention. Hi, Max. How you doing? Welcome. Oh, the movie, the, the, the white girls movie. Is that the one you're talking about? Like when I, when I said that, when I first came on, because, uh, I felt like, I felt like, you know, the, you know how the Wyans brothers, I don't know if you've ever seen that or not, 
the Wyans brothers and they're going in and the the what the blonde wigs all in his face and he's going. <laughs> That's what I felt like coming into this live tonight. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God, Kit. <laughs> Bitches. You got this Pisces. How you feel about that? <laughs> but that's the that's it, Elon. Is that they, they, they have the ego has to die. It is a proverbial death of who they are. They have to go through that. If they don't go through that, they might just literally die of dis-ease because they can't cope. Uh, that is what causes disease is unresolved trauma or unresolved issues. And anybody who's a narcissist has some serious unresolved issues because they want to blame the rest of the world with what's wrong with them. That is called gaslighting. And they will do it to anyone and everyone who will enable it. Glow in the dark. What are we glowing in the dark? <laughs> Cringe paper, blue, white. <laughs> My daughter says she's so white, she's clear. <laughs> My son's the opposite. He's like me. Got a little pink, little you know, color to him. But my daughter, oh my gosh, she's got copper eyes too. She's absolutely gorgeous. There's a picture of her on my community surf tab. Um, but yeah, she's she's like ghost white. And But she's living in Florida now, so she may be getting a little sunshine, which would be good. <laughs> Visible in the sheets. Wouldn't that be cool, little kid? I was a toehead too, Christian. <laughs> My daughter didn't even have any hair until she was like three. She was bald headed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you wanted to become a narc, you could just go ahead and start blaming blaming somebody why why you spent too much money or blaming somebody why you went out and got drunk or blaming somebody about why you played it played with somebody's emotion. Go go blame it on somebody else. Then you then you can consider yourself a narcissist and graduate from narc narc college. Hi, Divinely. Glad to have you. Suzanne, Susan Miller, third generation female Scorpio. Wow. So you got you got some witchy witchy craft in your in your family. Very low melanin count. <laughs> Is there such a thing? <laughs> you, you come from a long line of witches. If the third generation that makes that means that they made sure that they had each baby in Scorpio season. They did they did did it on purpose. Yeah. You live in Arizona, Christian? I'm gonna have to come out and visit you. I'm going to Texas to visit my my buddy uh my Korean roommate that I had for eight years, probably in September. We're going to go Six Flags. Spooky pizza. I love it. <laughs> Valentine's babies. No, that, this uh, triple Scorpio would be, um, what is it? M maiden Mother Crone. Maiden Mother Crone. Yeah. Uh, so that's, and, and in Scorpio, that's, you're, you're talking Halloween. You're talking dark shit. So 
they might have been very, very skilled back in the day. Like I said, Suzanne, maiden, mother, and crone. That is the witch's symbol. That is the, the moon with the two half moons sticking out the side. That's what that means. Wow. They planned that shit. Wow. Okay, Blake, I got you. Your crush sent you a snap. A Snapchat? Said happy fourth and she sent me a snap after. I said that anyway, can I know what she meant? Yeah, I'll check for you. Spooky Pisces, you mean? Yeah, mine's on the twenty eighth. So I'm 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 a full on Pisces with a Scorpio rising. <laughs> And an Aquarius Venus. Um, I, I'm, I'm the serious queen of my fucking swords. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Blake. She fucking with you. I think she knows she messed up. She's with somebody else. But she knows she messed up. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Empress in reverse. Three of Cups and Leo energy. So strength. She knows she messed up. And now she's stuck with somebody else. And she wants you. Kind of hardcore. But I feel like this is you. Queen of Swords. Like, bitch. Yeah. So, you're probably gonna, gonna look at her like a whole different way now. Because she knows she screwed up. Now, if you take her back, that's on you. Okay. I mean, I'm not saying that there ain't no rainbows and hot dogs, but I'm just saying. I'm just waiting for the sober to throw it in the garbage. Okay, Andrea, go for it. Can I tell you if an existing family has been doing dark magic on me? Susan, it only works if you if, if you if you don't ground yourself and stand in your feel stand in your power because you're very very powerful. You just don't know it yet. There is definitely a dark witch in here. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want, but uh, you have no power here, dear. Just letting you know. Um. As far as dark magic goes, I see something being hidden from you. <clears throat> Somebody trying to come in between you and another person. Trying to keep you from your... Am you hit me at the wrong time. Your options being open. Something you've been waiting for, Susan. It could be this masculine. Something that you've been waiting for or something. You, are you the one that had the Aries that just hurt you? <coughs> Man. Dragon's Den here, choking out. Um, because I don't think it's necessarily magic. I just think that somebody lied to you and didn't show you the truth. And now you're trying to heal from that. And you're, and you're dealing with your own shadow. Okay. Your own shadow. 
I want you to turn around and hug that shadow. Okay? Turn around and hug that shadow. Tell it you love it and it's okay. Because you're pulling in energies that you don't need to be pulling in. You have the ability to pull that in, Susan. Okay? So understand that you have the ability to pull that in and don't pull it in. Andrea, I told you she might. You got to listen to me, baby. When I tell you that she might be full of shit, she might be full of shit. I'm just saying. Debbie, Virgo, Laya, Playa. Okay. Very unfair person. They are an ace of ace of swords in reverse. They're they're playing with you. Look at look look at the seven of pentacles there. They're playing with you. SK, I got you next. And then Charlotte. What's in store for SK8? Ooh. I'm hearing that song, Into the Unknown, by, uh, on Frozen 2. Into the Unknown. There's an offer coming in to work with somebody who's been paying an awful lot of attention to you. But it's a heavy workload, so be careful what you wish for. You're rubbing the genie's lamp. So you don't know what that's going to bring you. Be careful. There's secrets. Okay? But there's there's definitely a good a good news coming in, probably about work. Something to do with work. Somebody's paying an awful lot of attention to how hard you're working. And it's the King of Pentacles. All righty. You're welcome. Okay. We had, who do we have next? Charlotte, I think. Yeah. What did you ask me, dear? Okay, is my ex still stalking me? That, okay. That's what I needed to know. Emmanuel, I got you next. Of course you can. Andrea, you know. You know how it is. You know how I do. Uh, that's a big yes there, Charlotte. A big yes. I'm feeling a little bit of off-centered, like waiting for the right time to pounce. I don't know what that means, my love. Let's see what it cuts at. They're going to make you an offer. So I'm feeling like they're just waiting for the right time to go. I got eight of eight of wands, king of cups, page or, or knight of swords, three of wands, and the ace of swords. So that's a big yes. Big yes, and an offer coming from this person. That was for Charlotte. Aicha. Aicha. Pretty name. Yeah, you can ask me. I'll check it out for you. Janice, I got you next. Black magic. 
Oh, you just got the same cards as the other person. Let me grab another deck. Even though you watched me, shake them up. Evie, how you doing, baby? Evie was the winner of my last month's uh, free reading. Janice. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. There's a very good possibility that they're trying to interfere with your third eye, which means your intuition. Somebody's definitely trying to stress you out and mess you up because they're obsessed with you. Not because They want to necessarily harm you. It's because they're obsessed with you. You've done something that's made them obsessed with you. And there's more than one. There's like two or three. I got Scorpio. I got Capricorn. I got Pisces here. You need to heal something in order to get around it. Perhaps bring your own gifts online to be able to make it go away. Sage. Lots and lots of sage. Salt around your sleeping area. <laughs> Evie. <laughs> How come I don't have any questions? Because Christian, you're just you're just smart. You're a smart man. That's why. You you smart man. You're a healer. So that kind of makes you uh what, what is it? Uh exempt. <laughs> I love you, kid. Lurking around my neighborhood. Can you tell me about him? Rebecca. There he is. Woohoo. Baby, Rebecca. What does he want? He's definitely working at trying to get your attention. So he can transform the situation into his wish fulfillment. Whatever that might be. Okay. Well, watch the magic wand. He might try to poke you in the eye with it. All right. But that's what he wants. <laughs> Mariah's scary boy. Gary, why are you so obsessed me? Uh, beautiful. Got you next. I've been invited to go visit Libra Sunday. Is it in my highest good go? How does it feel, beautiful? How does it feel to you? Does it feel like you should or you shouldn't? I mean, listen to that intuition, baby. You got it. You know. You know, you know. Whoa. Wow. Got a little obsessive energy going on there, too. Uh, beautiful. Looks like you might get an apology from the past person. And they're going to tell you how they feel. And that they want to work with you. Because they feel very strongly about you. To the point of where it is almost obsessive. Okay? They like you. But they're a bit confused. They're a Libra. You know, it is what it is. Do you have a long... I don't have a long... No. No. I, I mean, I, I 
answer the questions as I see them. So ask me, Andrea. Let's see what I'm not going all the way down. Ah, no, I got all these other. Seems like not a good person. Uh, yeah, Rebecca, if that, if I can't remember what I told you, sorry, it doesn't stick. <laughs> Terry. <laughs> Reconcile with the Scorpio. Depends on what you or they did. Because Scorpios, they get the Queen of Swords and the Stinger out and you, you might be done. They're, if they fall in love, they're one of the most loyal signs in the world. But they got to be in love. I don't know why I'm feeling this, uh, but I feel like your Scorpio's got a drinking problem. And they're trying to get their shit together. Whatever that means. They're trying to put their life back together after something. Blame it on the goose. Pisces, baby. Love my Pisces. Love my, love my Scorpius. Love my Pisces. Andrea, you need to let that go. How many times am, am I going to have to tell you the same thing? This bitch is hustling you. Stop it. Stop letting her take your money. <laughs> my ambassador for go show my vibe. <laughs> Bye. Bye, bitch. <laughs> okay, yeah. She's playing you, Andrea. She she's behind your back, she's talking bad about you. Whoever this person is that you're talking about. Five of Wands. Two of Pentacles, they're juggling you and somebody else. I'm glad you kicked that one to the curb. But this new one is juggling. See, she's juggling you and somebody else. So just keep that in mind. Huh? What do we got here? Eight of Wands. You must be getting a message. Susan, he thinks you're wounded. This person that I'm dealing with loves me, Rebecca. He thinks you're hot. You got a wish with that Aquarius energy. You certainly can, Emmanuel. You're getting a wish, but is it an illusion? Don't rush it, okay? That was for whoever asked me about that last question. That's when they always fall in love, Elon, is when you run away. Does the Cancer Man love me on the Pisces? Joy. Okay, got you. Cancers. Uh, my daughter's a Cancer. I know all about that Cancer energy. Um, there's somebody else, sweetheart. And you might end up getting ghosted or you're going to end up ghosting them because there's somebody else in the picture. Okay. 
Fuck mama's boy. Yeah, they're lying to you, baby. Oh, non-toxic new person. I'm just telling you that that non-toxic new person's got somebody else. So they may be, you know, playing you too. Just be careful. That's the way it should be, Z. That's the way it should be. You're welcome, Joy. Uh, uh, what is your name? Aicha? Aicha? It's cute. Yeah, but it's whatever they're going to say is going to stress you out. It's going to keep you up at night. The person on your mind. Yeah, they're going to talk to you. Somebody from the past. But it's going to stress you out and keep you awake at night. Finally got you next. There's a choice you need to make, Joy. Was that Joy? I don't remember. Divinely, what do you I need to know right now? Huh. You need to know there's a Capricorn full moon coming. And shit's about to get real. <laughs> I'm just saying. Divinely. Ooh, nice. You must be gorgeous, baby. Because you're about to get an apology from a ten of pentacles who's going to rush in and make you an offer. It might even throw you off a little bit. You'd be like, huh? <laughs> that kind of energy. Huh? So, look out for that. Now you're not going to be surprised because you asked me. Uh, if you feel like your life is in danger, you definitely got to get a restraining order. But still, that's just like the magic wand. What are you going to do? Throw it at them? Protect yourself. Go ahead and get the restraining order. But always, always protect yourself in any way, shape, or form possible. Glam on deck. Nice name. I need to know about my relationship with my Gemini. Please thank you so much. Toxic AF. Uh, little bit of obsession. Some stalking. Some hot, passionate player energy in an offer. We have the devil, Capricorn energy. The page of swords. The knight of wands. And the page of pentacles. This is no king, my love. This is somebody watching you show up and they want a piece. Manuel, let's see what you got going on here. Trying too hard and not hard enough on getting a new job. You can't never try too hard or hard. Baby, it's right around the corner. It is literally right around the corner. Whatever you've been putting effort into, nine of, wow, Creatrix, Nine of Cups, the Sun, and the World card. Come on, man. It's already here. You've already manifested it. Now you just kind of got to be patient. 
because it's on its way to you. Be patient, three of wands. You've manifested it already. Another cancer. I, I, I love cancers, don't get me wrong. But they are just very, very needy. And very, very controlling. And that don't vibe well with me. Because I'm the ultimate rebel. Whoever just asked me about, I think, Truth Seeker. Yeah, one question at a time, baby. One question at a time. We'll do cancer first. You're about to hear from this person because they want to bring something back from the dead. At this time, they feel like their hands are tied, but they're trying to have the strength to hang in there, okay? Like I said, you already manifested it, Emmanuel. You just... Got to be patient now. Who your Pisces has been stopped cheating. Not as long as you let him, Pam. I'm just saying. You know. If you stay with somebody who keeps cheating on you over and over and over again. Do it once. Shame on you. Do it twice. Shame on me. The same with somebody, you know, who, who beats on you. If somebody beats on you, it's their fault first. But it's your fault if you stay for the second ass whooping. I hope that makes sense. Evelyn's here too. Woohoo. Oh, my God. Evelyn. Good luck, girl. What should you do about your Gemini, friend? Pa Pam, you're first. Will your, Pis will your Pisces stop cheating? Like I said, not as long as you keep letting them. You need to walk away. You need to show them that you're not going to put up with it. Because this is a good-looking man. And he can do whatever he wants to do because you're allowing it. Squishy bear. Yep, stay away from him. You'll be better off. And if he offers you, do one of those. Nah, I'm good, thanks. Lamb on deck. Got you next. Uh, Charlotte, I don't discuss those kind of things in my chat. Those are too personal. Okay? That brings in energies that we don't want to have in my chat room. Okay. Well, where was I? Susan, do about Gemini, friend. So far, I got love them, ghost them, fight with them. <laughs> Go into hermit mode, Susan. Because even though you love this person, I got a 55 here. Five of pentacles, five of swords, and justice. The best thing for you to do with this person is maybe... Maybe just ghost them because they're going to fight with you. You know? And then, that, and then you're going to feel foolish because you let them. Squishy bear. Squishy bear. You got the little ones, Evie? Yeah, Pam, just keep paying attention to, you know, yourself and how, how it feels. Because that's, that's, you got to find your power again, baby. So you can say no to the things that no longer serve you. 
What will happen if me and my child's father get back together? Violet. You're going to get betrayed over money. Okay. Unfortunately, because it's a beautiful relationship. It really is. Beautiful relationship. But again, I feel like somebody drinks too much. Somebody spends more time drinking than they do anything else. I love you. I'm good. And dip out. That's a Scorpio thing. <laughs> Pisces has Pisces has issues with that. But Scorpio is good. <laughs> it's mini. I can try, but this will be the last question for you, my love. You're in a, you're you're getting there in the middle of everybody and I'm ask, you're asking me too many questions. No. Um wait a minute. Is this person a Sagittarius by chance? Cause somebody's lying to you. Either that or you're lying to me, which, you know, could be too. Uh, hanged man. Somebody's just stuck. Somebody's stuck on you. Will I always be single? Janice, do you want to be single? I want to be single. So when somebody asks me that question, I'm like... Why wouldn't you want to be single? Especially if you're self-sufficient. Travel the world. Have a boyfriend in every state. Have fun. You're welcome, Violet. Janice. Got you now. We in the Queen of Swords energy. And as long as you're in that energy, you ain't gonna track nobody because you be you like this. It's on the back of your head. You know what you want, and I don't think you're willing to settle for anything less than what you want, Janice. So if you if you you know if you want to walk around with the middle finger on the back of your head, you go right ahead, okay? Because you're not going to settle for anything less than what you want anyway. You're going to queen of swords, everybody, that isn't what you want. Which means you'll probably completely ignore them and be very cold. But what you don't see is the possibility of somebody coming into your life. Let the middle finger down for just a minute and look around you because I do feel like there's somebody that's got your attention. Schmitty, you're next. Any info? Any info? <laughs> Sky's blue? No, I'm just kidding. Love on the brain. You ever heard that song? That's what I'm getting with this. Check this out. Six of Swords. It's like somebody would run to get a piece of something here. They would literally run to it. Because they are so obsessively involved. So... Listen to that song by Rihanna called Love on the Brain. That'll fit your um, 
trajectory with that person. Smoking and cooking. Smoking, my kind of guy. Girl. What is she hiding? What is who hiding? What is who hiding? I don't know who you're talking about. I got you. Hold on. A lot. Maybe even some legal issues, baby. Yeah, I keep getting the devil. It's Capricorn Moon. Y'all gonna find out some shit about some shit. I'm gonna tell you what. It's gonna happen. Justice is gonna happen. You're gonna find out things about people. Look, smoking and cooking. I had that, and I had the five of wands. So what they're hiding is jealousy, competition. Want to poke you in the eye with a magic wand? They want to pick a fight with you. Not good intentions, whoever that person is. How soon will my love be able to come here from overseas? Kai, a cat. Where are they at? Where are you, where are you at? Wish granted, baby. Looks like October. Kai, or cat. You looks like Kai. I'm sorry. The transformation is happening now. So it looks like by October it will be complete. It might even be shocking. But it's going to be everything you want. Oh, okay. He's in Israel. Israeli guy, huh? Mm. They got some hot men there. When they're young. See, I, I have I have an issue with all that hair. I would yeah, so when when Israeli guys are young, man, they find his mind. But when they grow all that hair on their face, it'd be like <laughs> Glam, I got you. I missed you earlier. Scorpio feels like you left them out in the cold. They're doing some self-healing, though. They're watching everything you do, Glam. Everything you do. They're watching you glam up, glow up. But they got some healing to do, some truth that they need to face about you oh bummer <laughs> i'm just kidding nice and hairy and get to give them the trimmer <laughs> yeah, i you know we we talk about Keanu Reeves a lot in here because you know like I think that I think we make a great pair personality wise, <laughs> but he got all that hair on his face and it, and even though he's him, I still have to tell him you gotta trim that shit. I can't kiss you like that. Oh, Danny, you poor thing. <laughs> Sun, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, Neptune, and oh my gosh, you are just a deep, dark puddle. 
How do you how do I break a general generational curse? Um, it's easy. You say fuck off. And you don't let anybody make you take on that generational curse. You're the one that changes it. I was I was that one. My whole family's dead, baby. I'm the only one standing because they all chose to stay in that low vibration until they died. Me, I got kicked when I was down and still got back up. So, you know, all I can tell you is that you got to grow a pair and become this Pisces or Scorpio, whichever one you are. William, yes, it has been a while trying to start a business. Yeah, I know how that is. You're a healer too. So, guys, he's a, he, he massages and stuff. William. <laughs> I got, I got, I got to come, I got to come visit you and have you adjust me. Because it'll fade, Rebecca. Love spells don't stick. It's like a short infatuation. And then I'm like all of a sudden you snap out of it. Love spells don't work on anybody but you. So if you're going to do a love spell, you do it on yourself. But so you can fall in love. You don't do it to somebody else because that shit don't stay. It don't, it, 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 yeah. Exactly, William. You're giving your power away by allowing it to affect you. Then when you're like, oh shit, I don't love this person. Then that's when it's broken. But it's up to you a spell or not like i said it don't stick manifestation is for your personal growth it is not so you can manipulate yeah it's black magic it's not so you can manipulate anything for somebody else you cannot infringe on anybody else's free will because that shit will come back on you three times three so what's going to happen is when you wake up from the spell you're going to be like, I don't want nothing to do with you. And then he's going to end up with the love on him. Three times three. And he's going to fall so in love with you that he can't stand himself. And it will become toxic and you won't be able to stand him anymore. So if you feel like somebody's doing a spouse and say, Bitches, no, 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 no. And wake up. Because you're giving your power away anytime you fall for it. Okay? Okay. <laughs> exactly. I have dominion and domain over my life, over my world. Well, I love everybody, but not in a pervy way, too, Danny. <laughs> it's okay. We all love each other in here. Yeah, move away. Block him. Change numbers. Get the hell away from love spells. Like I said, it doesn't... And, and you're right. It doesn't create love. It creates obsession. So... When the spell doesn't work, it goes back on the person who cast it. And then it becomes an obsession and an illness and a blockage. <laughs> I learned you're a mess. <laughs> you're welcome, Rebecca. <laughs> oh, I can be a hot mess. No, Danny, if, you're, if you got all that energy, you are definitely not here on Earth. You floating around somewhere in the ocean. Because people are desperate and they think, they think that magic works like that. 
I need to cut my bangs, guys. I really can't see. Um, they think that magic, you know, that manifestation works like that. Manifestation is for self-improvement, not to manipulate others. And as long as you keep anybody who's trying to do that, yeah, you don't infringe on people's free will. That, that That's it, Elon. Learn to forgive. That's true love. It's desperation. They're trying to cling to something they can't have. <laughs> Evelyn, I'm just hopping in the back. <laughs> Too much Aries in the air. No, there's a... We send you love too, Danny. <laughs> Goldenish. <laughs> yeah, divine love is not physical. It's only physical when you want to stick. <laughs> Smoking. <laughs> I love you. I cannot live without you. <laughs> I love that fucking skunk. <laughs> he even mistakes the cat because it's got stripes down his back. <laughs> exactly, Rebecca. <laughs> it's naked. <laughs> and Z chimes in. Who's naked? I want to see some naked. Yeah, kitty, kitty. <laughs> I want the stick, but not for Mary. Can't see his. I blame you there. Can you get it up? <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm, uh, no, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Oh, always joy. Don't ever believe anybody on the net. Uh, on the net. <laughs> I was going to say Nikki. Danny caught me off guard. I'm Nikki's under these clothes. Damn right I am, Skippy. <laughs> How about my stick? I don't know. Does it work, William? <laughs> you guys are so bad. <laughs> we all naked. I got pants on tonight, guys. See? I got pants on tonight. I'm sweating my ass off. I got my own ticket. I know what an Addy looks like. I can play with it anytime I want. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. We we let our freak flags fly in here. <laughs> and if you can't handle the heat, babe. Oh, I'm sorry. This is this is like really serious Scorpio territory here. And we are a bunch of freaks, so it is what it is. Danny, I can't say as I blame you because there I want, I need, I want, I need, I want, I need. No, you can't do that. I want to control you. That's a cancer. <laughs> cover up, cover up before you walk outside. No, thank you very much. Yeah, Manuel, sometimes I do chats with no pants on. <laughs> but I, 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 you know, if I got to get up and go to the restroom or something, then I got a problem. So I decided I better put some pants on today. Hey, Deborah, how you doing, baby? I'm Scorpio rising. Scorpio rising, Aquar lots of Aquarian energy here too as well. That means I'm aloof. 
I'm a loof. That means I'm a la la la. Huh? <laughs> yep, yep. Leo, Leo risings are usually movie stars. <laughs> Scorpio mom, cancer dad, Pisces porn <laughs> That is so awesome. That is like the most awesome thing I've ever heard. Scorpio moon, cancer, cancer dad equals Pisces or Pisces porn star. <laughs> Scorpio mom. <laughs> that is great. That is great. <laughs> Who needs pants anyway? I don't. It's fucking hot in here. Yeah, no doubt, Danny. That wasn't easy at all. A Venus and Leo, just put it this way. They put the romance into romance. A Leo, Venus is probably one of the most romantic people you will ever come across. Because they're the kind of person that will make you a bath and put candles around it and throw rose petals in it. Yeah, that's a Leo, Venus. Emmanuel, <laughs> he was born with a boner. Aren't all boys? I don't know. I didn't get to see mine after he was born. The next t-shirt idea. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> I'm almost there, guys. I'm like only 300 away. And then I will have merch on my channel. And we will have our own t-shirts. We will have our own t-shirts of all our little smart ass sayings. <laughs> yeah, people might get upset at them. <laughs> they might. If you walk around outside, see I don't ever go anywhere, so <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> you know what I got when you when I when I saw you say that. How can you have any meat if you don't eat your pudding? <laughs> I don't know why, but that's what came out. How can you put your wallet in if you don't have any pants? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that came out. See, <laughs> uh, uh, me either. I mean, get out of my bathtub. <laughs> oh, we'll talk. We'll talk. Send me an email. We'll talk. Earl, I got you. It's going to be a struggle, baby, but you're going to be all right. Try to keep, try to keep, stay calm, especially through this, this transit that's happening through this month, Earl. Stay away from people if you can. Don't let them stress you out. So keep on your guard and stay in that daddy energy. Okay? Stay in that emperor energy. Choose not to listen to other people. Not to let them stress you out. Chill. Heal. 
Okay. I'm praying for you, baby. Yeah. Me too. We love you, Earl. Don't forget that. <laughs> Makes it put. <laughs> how can you have any meat? If you, no, how can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> Layla. Yeah, don't believe anything you see and half of what you hear. Especially where your home and your family is concerned. I feel like you're going to walk away from somebody... Who's going to bring you that Ace of Cups? But I feel, I feel somebody's going to walk away here. They think it's an illusion, but it's real. Okay? It's real, baby. Stop drinking so much. <laughs> That's my love advice. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Pudding. Hmm. <laughs> Sound good? <laughs> Will your book sell? Hold on a second. I got manual next. You're welcome, Layla. New love. Damn it, man. These cards, I'll tell you. You see me shuffling them, right? Shit wants to be coming out. It looks like there might be for you, Manuel. But I'm not seeing it as new love. It could be a Virgo or another Scorpio. I'm seeing it as somebody who's already broken your heart. Somebody you love that's already broken your heart. The fuck did I just write? Will my book have sales? <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out. We all get bass records in here sometimes. Wonder what flavors are offered. <laughs> I'm a vanilla kind of person myself. I like that French vanilla. Or banana. Banana's good too. You don't want that manual. Well, that's why the Herman ener energy is there. Because I think you're going to hide from them. And until you can get away from that, you can't really bring in new love. Because I, I think they're stalking you. Okay, book sales. Absolutely. Wish granted, baby. You're going to boss up. You're going to get whatever you wished for, girlfriend. Something that you love. Vanilla bean sounds good to you. Old no, love, new, new love. I'd rather have new than old, man, because you already been there. Already been there, done that. Know what comes with it. And the last one I went out with was so fucking lazy. It was pathetic. Uh, looks like you're walking towards something new. It's a ten of pentacles. You're walking away from maybe a home situation there, Layla. Into a Ten of Pentacles. Maybe somebody got lots of money with that King of Pentacles on the bottom. <laughs> Manuel says, I think so too. 
Yeah, you're gonna have to you have to let that die down so you can uh, get back out there. <laughs> I love you, Terry. <laughs> oh my God, you're welcome, Layla. Holy shit. <laughs> No, I, I I don't believe you want a second chance with that manual. That one looks like a got a got a few screws loose. I felt that. <laughs> the cheese is old and moldy. That's like somebody learning how to speak English, Terry. The cheese is old and moldy. <laughs> If someone's serving dessert, I don't know. Are we serving dessert? I'll tell you what. They have this place called La Rosa's here. And, and uh, thank you, dear. Awesome. Uh, they had this place called La Rosa's. And I ordered me a calzone the other night. It was super good. And they had this cannoli thing. I mean, it wasn't like an actual cannoli, but it was in a cup and it had like the cannoli stuff. Oh my God. It was so good. I love cannolis. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, we will. We'll keep you laughing, too, Earl. Keep you smiling, baby, because that's the best medicine of all. That is entirely the best medicine there could ever be on Earth, is to be able to smile no matter what gets in your way. Oh, I love me some cannolis, too. Although, if I ate like I wanted to eat, I'd probably weigh about 300 pounds. I don't like I don't like I don't like things like McDonald's, but I definitely like me some pizza and cannolis and Italian food. I make a mean lasagna. But who am I gonna make that for? I mean, you can't make a small lasagna. You when you make lasagna, it's like a great big giant pan. So <laughs> who's gonna eat all that? Not me. Yeah, I think I'm gonna order pizza tonight. That sounds good, actually. Thank you, Manuel. That's awesome. Great. <laughs> I, I, for the most part, I'm a vegetarian. Uh, but I eat when, I, you know, I don't really like meat on pizza. I like it with all the veggies on it. And I like a thin crust. Like that Pacific veggie from Domino's that uh, on thin crust that is like my favorite. Just freeze the extra for later. It'll be in my freezer a long, long time. <laughs> Deborah. Because I get what I want, and then I don't want it again for a long time. So unless I – and the neighbors all got to move because uh, new owners took over the place, and, like, all, all my friends got to move because they're, they're raising the rent. So they got to leave. So I'll be the only one left here. At least until I leave, which won't be long. I'm going to stay in for another winter. I can tell you that much right now. Bacon? Did somebody say bacon? I like bacon occasionally. I like bacon on a cheeseburger occasionally. The best burger I ever had in my life is Shake Shack in California. Mmm, man. That's some good stuff. I used to, see, I, I was on the keto diet out there. So my cheat day was Shake Shack. Awesome. <laughs> Tony's Italian Kitchen. 
Real Canales, Inglewood. I don't think that's that far from here. I'm in Cincinnati. Me too, Z. Me too. <laughs> Borscht. Miami. I got somebody inviting me down to uh, West Palm when I come down to Florida. Maybe I'll stop by uh, Miami and see ya. What did Christian say? I love you guys. You keep me so entertained in these in these uh in these chats. Well, we've been here buck twenty six. You know I start fading after this, so we're it's not me, it's the way that YouTube does things, I think, because my voice starts to cut out and stuff after about an hour and a half. So uh I I get it. I get it. Uh, England, England is not a good place to find really good food unless you want it in a pie. I mean, they everything comes in a pie in England. <laughs> Mashed potato pie, beef pie. Everything is a a shepherd's pie. I've been I've been to England. I've I've been to London before. And trust me, it is really difficult to get a good pizza in London unless you go to Domino's. I mean, you, you got to go to like a, a world chain. Those are usually the best ones, Terry. <laughs> yup. Everything's a pie. How to transition from old space to new space. <laughs> like, like bewitched. Bing. Okay. Whole different scene. Oh, that's okay, William. We'll have another one on Wednesday. I think that is the full moon. Let me check real quick. Uh, I think that's the full moon. And we're going to be here for that because y'all need me. Yep. Next Wednesday is the full moon. So this coming Wednesday. Yeah, fish and chips. Ugh. But so, so everybody be here on the full moon. And we're going to get witchy. We're going to do some some uh chanting and some like maybe we'll run around with tin foil hats and act a little nutty and you know you know like the normal shit we do <laughs> la 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 i love you guys i will see you next time until then you have a wonderful wonderful weekend uh, and i'll probably be here saturday night if I don't have something or someone to do, I'm hoping there might be a possibility, but maybe not. I've stre I stretched out my half price reading for one more day. So, I love you guys. You're awesome. You take care of yourselves. I'll probably see you this weekend. Until then, stay safe. Stay well. Stay out of the line of fire. If bitches throw shade your way, go, bitch, and walk the other way. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right? Love you. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>